Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be unboxing another Bleach statues. Last week I did unbox an Ukiora statue, the number 4 Espada and this week I'm gonna be doing a number 3 Espada Halibel. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna be doing a number 3 Espada Neliel to or the watch if I pronounce her name correctly don't hate me um, if I didn't but yeah um, her name is pretty long first name and last name super long and so confusing but anyways um, she is the old number three Espada um, you know when she first appeared in the anime she was just a little kid because she lost her power but during um, the battle with Ichigo and the number five Espada um, she finally regained her power and transformed into this horse-like um, former number three Espada with like half of her body in the front and uh, like half of the horse body in the back. It's pretty cool looking. At the same time, it's pretty gross looking as well. But you know, despite that, uh, she has the immense power. You know, battling against the number five Espada, helping Ichigo, whatever. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the box so you guys can see it. So here we have the box, uh, there are several franchise stickers on it as well, like the last week I unboxed for you guys, you know, the same box, everywhere. Shipping company doesn't care how your packages look, they just throw it around. So here's the box, wrapped around by this big plastic bag this art box is pretty cool because you guys can kind of see the statue itself how it looks like here we have the true form of nail in the front with two giant watermelons as always um, the number three espadas always have two giant watermelons the new espada and also this old espada um, she has on this beautiful blue hair and half of her body is human and the other half is like horse-like and up top we have her name Neliel Du Ozawang <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that correctly but yeah on the side we have the number three and up top we have the Espada and behind we have her mask it's kind of like a helmet she's wearing on her head this box um this statue rather is made by the same uh, studio that I unboxed with the Ukiora one um, BP studio so now I'm gonna get to the unboxing and I'll see you guys afterwards so I can talk more about this statue peace out everybody
Alright guys, I'm back and that was an unboxing of Nelia 2 Ozawang made by BP Studio from Bleach. As you guys can see, um, this statue standing in 170 scale, but there are so many details that goes into the base, onto her body, her head, and this little Nelia right here. Um, but first, I would like to apologize for my uh, boobies brothers that I had to get a small piece of black tape and tape onto her nipple because this statue show a little bit of nip slip so to my brothers out there I am terribly sorry but you can follow my Instagram down below you know I'll be posting some pictures um, uncensored of these two amazing watermelons things um, so you guys can marvel and enjoy on my Instagram so make sure you guys follow now I'm gonna put the link in the description but yeah I'm terribly sorry about that uh, without I know that without the tape it's like the wonderful piece of art and we shouldn't you know censor stuff but due to YouTube policy I don't want to get banned from YouTube so I had to do it now I'm gonna show you guys some close-up look on these two amazing statue little Nelio and the full body okay so first let's get to this little nail um, really nice that they include her because this is the um, most popular nail she always appear in the Aranka art you know she appear most of the time um, running around you know bothering Ichigo acting all cute and stuff so I really like this little nail right here and here is the under base that you see so well done even though they ha don't have to add her but um, the way they sculpt and make that she looks super innocent and stuff up at the top is her Aranka mask so yeah very cute little nail imagine this to this <laughs> but yeah let's get down to the base first Here's the base, you know. In the front, we have her Aranka mask. Um, this mask appears when she finally transforms into her true body. It's at the top of her head. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. But yeah, um, it has some sand cover on it too, so pretty cool looking. And around the base is this white base that has some weathering and sand sticking on it, so awesome base. Um, same thing with the little base and here is the number three um, the former number three espada it's nice that I engrave the number three or espada number onto the statue so sand effect is pretty cool um, we have some rocks first and then this um, sand like a whirlwind you know wrapping around her legs and stuff and she is stepping on this red pole that we saw in her Komundo so with really nice sand like covering this pole right here and the rocks looks very natural as you can see like real sand sticking on there so here we get to her back two legs um, Furs everywhere, you know. This is when Aranka transform into their true um, hollow espada form. The powers is like multiply by a lot. Here is her tail. Um, if you guys look closely, you guys can see some uh, golden color on here. It's like they spray out uh, some sand onto here, so you can see. Right? Um, they put some sand effect on there, so pretty cool. And we get to her front two legs, like freaking horse. And now on to her body. She got some great abs. And, you know, her arm. Uh, I don't know what to say. My eyes is in different places. And here is the big pole that we saw her carrying. 
I don't know why I say pole, it's like a lance spear, um, a two-headed lance. Has some weathering and sand effect on there, and you know, some crack too. Some battle damage all over her body. You can see some crack right here, some battle damage. And here's her blue hair. And we get to the two uh, jerks, watermelon. Very detailed that they um, add on here. If there weren't any of this black tape, you guys can see her nipple for sure. So uh, once again, if you want to see this, check out my Instagram down below. I'm going to leave up the link. But yeah, um, very, very thick. I would say um, I don't normally collect female statues with two big uh, thing like this but you know I had to to complete my Espada lineup you know that's the only reason I bought her to complete my Espada lineup not about this <laughs> of course it's about that but yeah here is her face we can see that she has this sad looking eyes you know the betrayal like bitch why you betray me um, and calm and cool looking at the same time so you know the first time when I saw her transform into this I was like damn girl you know most of those tore this but you know her face is nice looking as well and on top we have the Aranka mask you know like I say down under the base she had the same two horns viking looking like Aranka mask but yeah, those are the close-up look on two now. This is such a wonderful statue because of this little nail right here. Um, we have her, you know, appearing all innocent, you know, looking up in the air, sitting down. Um, this form, she appeared most of the time in the arc. So really nice touch. And now we get to the base, you know, very cool looking white base. It's different than the normal black base. Um, this one has some sand effect, you know, weathering. And up top we have the rocky, you know, sticking out everywhere. And as we goes up, she is surrounding by this little whirlwind of sand. It's like she about to launch her attack. Um, you guys can see that she is using her two legs, two back legs, you know, and two front legs about to charge like most horses do when they are about to uh, charge at their opponent they put up their two front legs you know and uh, the body is perfect the two jugs is perfect like I say it's very very perfect normally I don't collect these type of figures you know girls with big boobs but uh, I had to this time um, I can't think of the only statue that rival this uh, one right here is the Tsunade and she's thick as well so just letting you guys know oh why am i keep talking about this um we should appreciate the whole statue not just those two things um now we get up onto her face she has this beautiful perfect good looking face you know as any girl would have calm and cool and mad and about to slap you and you know other stuff and holding the weapon on her right arm like most girls do as well when they mad at you um, you know but this time she has this lance right here beautiful sculpt there are some weathering some battery damage some sand on it but yeah um, overall this is a really nice piece and I'm super happy to be able to add her to my Espada lineup um, like I say I'm going to buy all the Espadas from this BP studio because um, they don't consume a lot of space they are not very expensive that's expensive but not very and they did some really amazing work um, most of their statues are in dynamic pose you know I like my statues in um, different poses you know in dynamic pose like they are about to attack they are about, about to launch about to jump in the air etc etc so yeah thank you everybody for watching me unboxing this Amazing statue of Nelia 2 Also Wank made by BP Studio from Bleach. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helped me, you know, pumping out more content for you guys, more unboxing, more review. 
um, and now I'm gonna give you guys some more close up look on her and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out everybody goodbye